Bye guys, no offense here. Bye. It's just, as I can see, it's a modification everybody can do, as you can see by the description. And it's basically modifying a storm flap. To me personally, this cord is just, the string on the storm flaps are good. But, I rather have power cord instead of this other stuff, as well as a ferrocene rod, a ferrocene rod toggle. Or ferro rod toggle. I put these on 99% of my storm flaps, as you all know. I think I have quite a few of them actually on my rucksack as it is. This is a rucksack I'm modifying for somebody, or was modifying for somebody. She's just emailed me saying that she's picked up a different rucksack if possible. Can I do that one instead of this one? I did say yes. I don't mind. So I can show this one. As you can see, it's only. It's nothing special. I'm still going to finish it off. I just won't be doing it the way I was meant to. So, yeah. Right, let's change this one, shall we? Basically, in my opinion, all you've got to do, actually, I'm going to change the top one. It's better. Let me just take my hand. Yeah, basically, all you've got to do is get the same, the same amount of measurement. What's on here? All smaller. It's up to do with you. I prefer to go a little bit. I prefer to go a little bit smaller than this and then you don't have all of this hanging around why do i change this to power cord basically because i have had some of these stuff in the past wait and wait on me so that's that one this is the new power cord one i'm putting in or this is actually titan power cord or survival power cord or whatever you want to call it and basically all you do is just Feed it through the hole where you just got it from, where you've just took the other one up from. But I prefer to have like these because to me they make life a lot easier. And I'm not really messing around too much with it. It's the hardest bit, it's just getting to this end piece I always find. Because some of these storm flaps have different size or different texture or different designs. I guess when he has already a different design compared to before. So I'm going to pause you for a minute, guys, and then bring you back. Oh, well, you're back. I've got it right, as you can see. I like to cut it real tight first to bring it all in. And then I like to add. The fair rod. I like to do one side at a time, I don't like to do both at the same time. And that there is your new Grimlock. New one of these. You can put this on if you want. So it's up to you, but I find, as you can see, it doesn't you have to really really force it open. But at the end, I always try to put one of these little um, closure pieces on it just to make it look a little bit neater. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I put a knot, and that all depends how I'm feeling at the time or if I want to change. But today, I'm going to put one of these on. I do like. I know a lot of people's going to say to me, "Well, that's a lot of, that's another lot of power cord you don't really need, or well, that's another fair rod you don't need." Well, I'm sorry, but that's the only problem. I sometimes struggle with this bit. Make sure they're actually in the right size. Size. <laughs> Is it a necessity? No. Is it for looks? No. The reason I do it 
personally. There we go. The reason I do that on that personally with this with these fail watch personally is for emergencies. My bag's not set up for 72 hours, as you all know. My bag's set up for say inch, an inch back. So I don't I don't believe in 72 hour kits. Yeah. So if I need an emergency kit, emergency things, I've got it. So there you go, that's happening. That's that's it all. So yeah, I do apologise this video took a bit longer than what I expected. As you can see, it's a lot tighter to do up. That's what I like as well. Right, do apologise this took a video a little bit longer than what it's meant to. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.